What's up, everybody? This is it. We all got together. I don't even know how this happened, but we are here. We got the squad in the building, and you you guys are now locked into the Cued Up Podcast with your boy DJ Aaron Michael. That is me. On my outside, we got my brother RC. Yes, sir. Over yes, here, sir. aka Calvert Productions. Yes, sir. That's On my right. left, the one and only Jello TV. Hello. You know, and in the back, this guy. He doesn't even need an introduction, but we're going to do some. This is my boy Giovanni, a.k.a. Just Created It. We will have our ads, you know, somewhere here on the screen so that way you guys can go ahead and follow us on our socials. But this is, once again, the Queued Up Podcast. It's something brand new, something we're trying for the first time. It's going to be a hit, and we're, we're excited to have you guys here. So, with that being said, with the introduction going on, I want to introduce, you know, a little bit more detail into who we are and why we're here and why people should even give a flying you-know-what. Like, mm-hmm. why should they even care? Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, before we continue on, Gio made a very valid point. What's his point? It's the queued up podcast, but it sounds like we're saying cue like cue dog. Right. <laughs> We don't want no problems with them Definitely doing that. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. That right now. Them dudes will come and stomp you out, no problem. Yeah, yeah it's, jump right it's, not, there. It's, not, it's not cute. It's I wouldn't cute. even do that. No. Hey, No. All right, but just to make sure we're clear on all fronts, it's the queued up. Right. And me being a DJ and me being the host and the person who brought everybody together, Hot cues is is vital to what a DJ does. So that's like the cue points of like a song or a record so that we can get to it very fast and efficiently. And also, we're going to be talking about a lot of different topics from sports, entertainment, movies, just what's going on in the world, crazy stuff that we see on the internet. Art. And- Art as well mm-hmm. from the artists, of mm-hmm. course. So we're gonna have stuff in the queue so that way people know where we're going. And if you want to skip around to this, if you're watching this on YouTube or whatever the case is, you know exactly what we're talking about at that point in time. So that's where the queued up podcast came from. Mm. And I'm DJ and Michael. You know, that's who I am. Uh, I've been DJing for about 10 years now. I DJ with the Power 98.3. I do a lot of different gigs in Old Town, Scottsdale, and Midlab Book me if you need somebody. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I've been doing this for a minute, and I've been wanting to kind of show more of who I am. You know, show a different side of me, not just who you see in the DJ booth getting Bad Bunny requests and stuff like that and having to ignore it. But also, you know, hey, I'm a pretty fun guy. I'm a fun guy. Yeah. I- <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and my ego was shot in the, you know, in the first 30 <laughs> seconds. So there we go. Oh, the uh, intro. <laughs> next, I want my boy uh, Jello talk about himself because, you know, he's been around for a little bit. So. Man, this is lame. I hate doing this type of thing. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 you're going to do it. <laughs> hey, so guys, my name is Jello. Hello. Nah, man. <laughs> uh, I've been doing uh, radio for like the last 17 years of my life, man. Um, I do a lot of different things. Mm hmm. I'm, I want to be a barber. Oh. I also want to be a radio personality. You know what I'm saying? I got a wife, two beautiful kids. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, my boy Aaron Michael, he uh, is the the most amazing DJ on my radio show. This is how we connected. Right. Uh, well, what else, man? What, uh, what else do I say? I mean, <laughs> all right. Well, then let me your look. name, what? your major, and a fun fact about <laughs> exactly. this <laughs> team building. You, team building. Would you like an unfun fact? Oh, give you us want me to fact. give them an unfun fact? Yeah, I mean, that, that's your specialty, bro. So, okay, well, look here. They call me the CEO of Unfun Facts. Yes, they do. Can I get a round of applause they for do, that? You know, yeah, they did. Yeah. The CEO of Unfun Facts, if you don't believe me, go to my TikTok. Over 400,000 people follow me. Unfun Facts. <laughs> now, Ashton Kutcher. Y'all know Ashton Kutcher, that 70s show? The yeah, white yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ashton Kutcher almost uh, committed suicide. Oh. Right? To save his brother's life, right? What? His brother had an issue, heart condition. So, Ashton Kutcher. Thought that if he killed himself, his brother would get his heart. Oh, so shit. So Ashton Kutcher went to the top of the hospital and was about to jump off. Not no. thinking that if you destroy your, your body, your heart's going to go with it. You, uh, you, now you oh, and your brother man. both dead. <laughs> now both of y'all dead. Ugh. But his dad Don't called him in time, got him down, and uh, it turns out that his brother got a transplant, so he didn't need to kill himself. That's wow. mad dramatic, though. Like, like, you you wanted to unfold that? No, no, no. It's not supposed to be fun. The fact that he's ready to jump off of a building and go kersplat instead of like Will Smith and seven pounds and just get the, get that's the a jellyfish. Fact. That's a fact. You know. Uh, yeah. Hey, bro, that's one thing we got to... was good approaches. <laughs> we got to get this clear. You wouldn't jump off? 
To give me a heart, bro, a kidney or something? Nah, I'm not selfish. jumping off. That's good. That's this is crazy. This is crazy yeah. for me. My brother just had a heart attack in like October. Mm. Uh, yeah, so it's crazy y'all bringing it up. I'm like, damn. And now I'm thinking like, damn, am I terrible because I ain't think about taking myself? Yikes. I'm horrible. Nah, right it's not much you can do, bro. Yeah. It's not much you can do. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I feel Ashton terrible. I didn't think, think about that. He was too emotional. He didn't think that was true. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Like, so you going to jump? Yeah, the heart is done. Jeez. You yeah. jump, it's over. Yeah. I mean, right? You ain't saving nobody. So. Well, that's wow. the CEO of Unfun Facts. <laughs> yeah, so. damn. Yeah, you heard it <laughs> first. They're not fun, <laughs> man. <laughs> now, a lot of them are not fun. A lot of them are not, but, you know, Joe, that. yo, appreciate you for being hey. a part of the squad. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go to a wedding, though, and tell them that fact. They're gonna be like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, yeah no, they're probably gonna kick you out for saying some, some shit like, <laughs> yeah, "Hey, you know, hey, sometimes you need that hard, that tough stuff." Go to a yeah. wedding and talk about how Asha Gucci <laughs> wanted to jump off a building and kill him. You don't start it's with tough. that one. You ah, start. okay, <laughs> you warm them up. All right, well, next, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> On my right side, your left. Yeah, my brother RC. Yes, sir. We yes, go back sir. all the way to to Buckeye, bro. I've known you since middle school. It's yeah, bro. Twenty yeah, years, well, thirteen years old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and fact. he didn't like me at first. He used to bully me. He used to bully me on the wow. Okay, not bully. How are you Come bullying? Not, big ass. not bully. Wow. Come on. But wow. you didn't stop our other friends from bullying me. You didn't, so you, that you, makes you, me a bully? A guilty, <laughs> guilty by association. Come on now. Come on. That's guilty not true. By I know, I know, but no, but through our friendship and everything like hey, that. Hey, that's real Terry Cruz's though, bro. That's what? <laughs> wow. Like, you should be running people over, dog. I would never try to bully you a day I in my life. I was skinny and awkward saying. back then. He was a year older than me, man. One year, uh, well, I guess when you're 12 and 13, yeah, one year really a makes difference. a difference. And you that's know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you used to like kick your foot behind you? Like in the Friday? Remember this? We had a one of the... You probably just stumbled Our bad basketball team was wild like two two kids on the team I'm, I'm not even going to name them but they used to do some pretty foul shit to other players like true like yeah, putting no, like they right. bare you're ass right. cheeks on somebody's neck not mine that never happened to me Man. But I seen that happen before. It Somebody was pranks. Put their cheeks on people's necks. Yeah. This was middle school. How? This was high school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. High school makes sense. How is that possible? Yeah. You sitting down, they just put like their you know when you be stretching you? and somebody like, one of them would just it's like locker room nonsense. Yeah. Is what it is. It's, it just it's, it could just go under the category of locker room nonsense. Paint yeah. this picture for me though, fellas. So <laughs> oh, here we go. You sitting down and somebody just put their biscuits on the back. Sitting of your down, neck. stretching. <laughs> somebody was sitting down, stretching for like let's say like a like a pre practice, like a pregame warm up. Yeah, sitting down, stretching. And you know, uh, basketball shorts and basketball uniforms, somebody yeah, just yeah. ran up. It's, yeah. high, it's like high school locker room. There's no so excuse just, for it. Before I was running around before high the baggy shorts. Next thing, mm-hmm. y'all just running around high school. <laughs> and it was a. It, it, was it, was it wasn't me. And he, and he was, yeah. It wasn't him, but yeah, no. yeah it, was, it was some wild times. But, anyways. Yeah. Next thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, but RC, please introduce yourself. What do yeah. you do? You know what I'm saying? And, and what do you plan on bringing to the podcast? That's what's up. So, again, I'm RC, Phoenix native, born and raised right here in the Valley. Um, been doing photography. I'm a, I'm a photographer by trade, a uh, photographer and business owner. Right, right. Been doing photography, uh, f- working for myself for the last seven years. Right. Um, so if you've been pretty much to a nightclub in Phoenix or Scottsdale in the last seven years, there's a good chance that I have been to that nightclub and taken pictures or in some capacity worked with a business somewhere near where you are or maybe if you're in Phoenix or Scottsdale. Right. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I do in a nutshell. I take yeah, pictures and edit all day long. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, but you, you kind of selling yourself short because you worked with a lot of high profile clientele before. You worked with a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners around the city before. For sure. And you busy, bro. You, for sure. I, think, oh, well, I yeah. think you're missing two extra arms for how much okay. you're working and everything <laughs> else you're doing. So, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. it's a lot. The the thing is, there's a, Phoenix is a growing city. We know that it's uh, been growing, and absolutely, and there are businesses who need content and media and. Uh, that's what I do. So, yeah. I've been fact. very fortunate to be super busy. It's only getting busier with the Super Bowl coming up oh, and everything. Yeah. I know we'll, we'll, we'll probably get into that, but yeah, man, I'm, I feel very fortunate to be able to represent my city and when people who... Uh, see any of my work or whatever they're seeing a representation of phoenix and i be I, I feel proud to be the one to be able to help get that in front of them and put us in a you know a decently a, a good light I, at least i try to exactly yeah. exactly and that's another important thing is that we are based out of phoenix but this isn't just 
a Phoenix. They're like, we we want right. we want to be all over the globe. That's our goal. Like our goal is for us to be all over the country, different mm-hmm. states, different mm-hmm. markets, and we welcome everybody. All right, from all walks of life, backgrounds, whoever you are, as long as you're funny or if you do something stupid, we're gonna talk about you. All right, mm-hmm. and we're either gonna laugh at you or we're gonna laugh with you. But hopefully, we laugh with everybody, and we're gonna laugh for ourselves too because we're freaking hilarious. So mm-hmm. that shit is real. And of course, hey, Mike, you're not supposed to tell people you're funny, though, bro. You, no, I'm going to tell them. No, I'm going to tell them. Because then am. we set the expectations. And what ah, if we say some ah, that we think is ah. funny and it's not? Well, then that means that, that that means that they're not funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll that, that means that you're not funny, all right? <laughs> I'm just funny. simple logic. That's, that's just, hilarious. That's just comedy logic. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you don't like my joke? Well, you ain't funny. <laughs> yeah. You have no sense of humor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't even know what you get getting at. Uh, and then, of course, my brother Giovanni over here, you know, in the, in the high chair, you know, yeah. for, for all, for everybody to see. <laughs> the light is on you. And say, who are you? What have you done? And where you been? Man, what have I done? That's, <laughs> that's a loaded question. <laughs> all right. Yeah, like you said, I'm Giovanni. Uh, I'm a street artist. I paint murals pr- primarily. Um, I've been back in Phoenix for a little over a year, but um born and raised in L.A. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm here to just paint y'all city, uh, all these beautiful colors, and represent black people on a whole other level out here. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, Love that. That's all, man, man. I'm an artist, man. I paint stuff, and I'm a creative. I, <laughs> I make stuff. So we just starting, but we're going to keep building and see where it takes us. Nice. Okay. I like that, Love that. There you go, man. Maybe put my fist in there when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I almost heard lift every voice start playing in the ball. Oh, I know Jilla had a tear coming down. <laughs> that one thug tear. Nah, bro. Uh, nah. I met I met Gio through RC. Uh, Cause y'all both went to school together back at NAU, correct? That's where you guys were. Right, we became homies. And Gio is one of just the coolest people ever, and he's one of the fastest growing muralists and artists. Not only in Arizona, but on the whole entire western part of the country. Mm-hmm. I get around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> in, international. Yeah. International, yeah. yeah. But no, you just man be traveling out of state at least once every couple of weeks. He's selling himself short. All right. I know what you be doing. All right. People love you from here to Denver. All right. Hey. hey he's yeah. cold, man. Yeah. He's yeah. yeah he's GLB nice. front. He's he's super dope. Exactly. Just, just check me out when you got time. Everybody here is, man. I wanted to bring together some of the coolest like minded individuals. Uh shout out to my boy uh Chewy, who's our engineer, yes. you know, yes. Yes. Chewy. This, this would not be possible without Chewy, Facts. you know, handling the sound and the video and everything like that. Amazing young talent. This man's going places. Mm-hmm. So thank you for being part of the journey. And then a shout out to my brother, Charlie Mumbles as well, man. Yes, Yo, Mumbles. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, young Mumbles. Sir. He out here. This man makes beats. This man does videos. This man does... Work, yeah, works in, in, in the nightclub industry as well. Like, what are you not doing? You Solid. know? Stand you up can, guy. Hus- yeah. Not, not sleeping. sleeping. Not sleeping. That part. That's all of us. And then also, shout out to my brother, uh, AJ, a.k.a. Artie Reaps, mm-hmm. a young, talented artist. Uh, he will be rotating on the show as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, really big on TikTok. He has a great TikTok following. It's a funny dude. Another hustler. Another great artist as well. So we're going to get him into the fold. And then the goal for this podcast is to eventually start bringing on guests and different people, you know, who are doing stuff around the city, who are interesting and who and who people want to just kind of get their perspective on. Because there's a lot of talent out here and this is Phoenix. So there's a lot of people moving out here mm-hmm. from different parts of Cali, from right. Texas, from Chicago. And we want to get everybody's perspective on the world and what's going on. And we want to just have fun. So we'll get to that point eventually. That's the goal. So. Yeah. Hey, hey, we're trying to make Phoenix one of the biggest cities, man. We in this, so let's make it happen. Yeah, you know. I mean, traffic's already getting pretty damn bad over here, so I'm right. freaking sick of we're that, We're going to need man. new highways. <laughs> <laughs> nah, facts. Uh, Jello, if you had to say, what would be one goal you would have for this podcast going forward? Uh, to entertain, bro. That's what we do it for. If mm. we're not entertaining people, then why do it? Exactly. That's facts. my goal. Let's Love entertain. That. Let's Fair have enough. fun, man. Love that. Go. You know yeah. I've always been against entertaining. I was like, man, <laughs> man, man I ain't no monkey. <laughs> Whoa. I ain't so dancing. Like, I don't know what it was. Hey, boy, I think it's when I became an artist, man. I was just I'm like, man, stop up. looking at me like I'm supposed to. <laughs> hey, but believe it or not, bro, that's entertaining. Yeah, yeah. but now, now I, I've become more like, yeah, especially doing street art, man. I'm always out there. So it's, it's become like, all right, this is a part of it. Like, yeah. it mm-hmm. comes with the territory. Yeah. And, you know, especially if you're good, people going to keep pulling up and talking to you. That's so it's like, all right, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. And 
we all have stories and scenarios from what we've been through just from life or sure. and the places that we've been and the people that we've dealt with. We got a gang of stories about stuff that people will find entertaining and we might find even embarrassing. But yeah. by damn it, we're going to talk about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's just what it's going to be. Uh, RC, what what is one of your goals for the podcast going forward? Um, yeah, mm. I'm going to kind of uh, write the coattails of what Jello just said, man, just to entertain and provide you know, maybe a perspective that maybe some people haven't thought of or, or just a different perspective. perspective. We all come from different backgrounds. So, and I realize that people uh, engage in content for a number of different reasons. And if we can just be an ex- escape from, you know, someone's mundane day to day, or even just uh, on your lunch break, it quickly, you know, check out the podcast or just scroll and catch a clip from the podcast. If we could provide any type of, value in any way from entertainment to the unfun facts that yeah, some, something yeah. you didn't know or just right. a different CEO, perspective <laughs> on a on a topic I, I think i think that would be huge uh so that's what i'm looking forward to to bringing and looking forward to getting out of the yeah. whole thing no absolutely and that's i think you put that very well and that's the thing people have been kind of asking me about once we kind of started talking about what we're doing is what are we going to be talking about and that's kind of a hard thing to answer because at the end of the day we're human you know what i'm saying right. like yes we're men yes we're four black men yes you know we're gonna try to add different people to the fold and we want to get everybody's perspective especially from the ladies perspective because women are highly unrepresented and we want to be able to do our part and not just talk for them We want mansplain. women To be able to talk for Yeah we're not gonna Mansplain We're not gonna Definitely do that not. We're not gonna do that Definitely not But you know also I mean we're gonna talk About what's affecting us Because we're regular people You know like sure. We're all thriving In our industries And we're all growing But you know we ain't We're not where we wanna be at At least goal wise We're getting there But we you know we're still We still gotta deal with Paying our bills And stuff like that too So we're gonna talk about Stuff that pertains to us mm-hmm. Maybe not get so political you know, yeah. we're gonna maybe maybe tiptoe about that, but besides that, almost anything else is on the table. We so, doing Trump man. talk? I ain't political. <laughs> <laughs> no, Trump I talk? The, I don't do these. I mean, if you want me to bring my dad in here, he'll <laughs> <laughs> blacks for Trump. So he was. Mm. Oh, oh, that's that's no. what's on me. Oh, right. oh no, oh, man. Yeah. Look at my little black. Look at my black. I'm, I'm asking you like I don't know. <laughs> oh, I know, right? I know. You know who my pops is. Oh, yeah. Look All at right. my black. Yeah, you remember on the uh, CNN, the dude was behind him. He's like, "Look at my black." Oh yeah, he did <laughs> say that. Black. He did oh. say that. I'm like, "Yo, <laughs> just Gio, wait, 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 what's that?" Uh, uh, hey, Gio, my bad, bro. I did not uh, mean it that way. Like, yeah. I didn't me. mean it that. Me. I was pointing at the curtain, bro. <laughs> yeah. I swear. Uh, yeah, the curtain blacker than me. Thank God. Some in here blacker than me. They get his boy that shit. Look at my little African American. Isn't he great? Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, I don't really ever get into like politics and stuff like that. I don't care for personally. So yeah. Nah, no, I, I ain't I got ain't. much to say. I don't even know yeah. enough. I just like you, uh, you can go to your local Michelle. news station for <laughs> <Well, laughs> minutes. Yeah, I mean, look, we want to try to keep things lighthearted, you for know, sure. and keep it fun. But if we have to get real, then we will get real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get serious. Hey, man, I'm, right? I, I, you know? I'm just trying to inspire people, man. That's it. I'm gonna hey, keep see, it there simple. You, go. you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be super cliche. Be the artist real quick. I just want to inspire people to be themselves, man. You know, like, elevate mm-hmm. and motivate. We I love here. that, bro. Mm-hmm. I just want to change the world one brush stroke at a time. One, <laughs> one, spray, one spray can at a stroke at, the, at a time. Man, I don't uh, do the, you know, Brushes is cool, but they ain't not. Bro, uh, did you I say stroketh? <laughs> stroketh <laughs> the wall. The you, wall. Know, you know it. That's a t-shirt. See, yeah, that's come how on. you know you be that's thinking IG name. That's an IG name. Stroketh. Stroketh? Oh, my God. Geo thy stroke. Hasn't even been 20 minutes on our first podcast. We're talking about stroketh. First episode, we're talking about Yo, I'm going home. I'm saying it to my wife right now. I'm about to stroke it. Baby, I'm about to stroke it. Those, those walls. Like, um, yeah, go it. sleep on the couch. I can't, bro. I can't. In the name. Oh, man. And uh, the one more thing I, I kind of really wanted to touch on is what we need from y'all. Like, what we need from our supporters, friends and family, random people who just stumbled across this. We need... Support Like we're nothing Without the people That watch Mm -hmm. And I give us Constructive criticism And and they give us feedback You know Hopefully it's stuff That actually makes sense But also Like we want to hear Good stuff Like hey Did we make you laugh Did we cheer you up On a bad day You know what I'm saying Are y'all going through Some BS Or just something That's just burning That you want to talk about 
Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. The cleaning people are right outside the door. <laughs> that, if you hear something, that is what that is. Hey, yo, and I can tell they try not to like it. Serious <laughs> right now, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I didn't mean to cut serious. you off. I just wanted to address it because it was getting louder and louder. <laughs> it, like, did, it, it did low key sound like hey, she was like rubbing the vacuum up against the door. At all. She ain't <laughs> See, Mumble's the over there cracking up right now. <laughs> no, no goldfish. <laughs> Mumble's had to hold the door. He was like, she said, these She was like, oh, they ain't, oh, ain't going to invite me on it, man. That, yo. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> but what uh, we need from our supporters, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut yeah, you off. Yeah, and then. uh Eventually, we're going to get to a point where, we, you know, maybe monetary donations. Cool. We're not in a rush for that. But, we, you know, we're definitely going to have our channels that people want to support that way. You know, because these ain't cheap. All right. There ain't nobody else going to be buying these big man skinny jeans with the holes in them. <laughs> That's a all right. So I need help. Okay. It's making them special. All right, I need help. So yeah. we're not putting the cash app on the screen right now? Yeah. No, we no, we definitely will. The cash app, the Venmo. Cash the, app, yeah, right here. You know, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> cash app, Geo. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. I got all Money. platforms just no, created. Uh, RC, if you had to say what would be one thing you would ask from the people or what do you think we should like kind of look forward? Yeah, man, yeah. just keep it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> really, bro? <laughs> I mean, I mean I that what did you Hey, it's the pilot episode, bro. A lot that's of true. issues gonna go wrong that's with the pilot. Episode. Okay, but well, yeah, that's not a technical issue. That's just <laughs> ladies. This mofo is fucking thirsty. Oh, she outside. So uh, yeah. Oh my god. god! She's no, outside vacuuming Snickers bars off the floor. Wow! <laughs> my guy's back here cracking over, uh, oh. cracking open Coca Cola bottles. Like it's just. <laughs> hey, no, that is a unnamed bottle until we get advertised. Oh, yeah. Okay, it is a beverage. Froca Frola. Yeah, you go. It's cool, right? Oh my god, that's a brand too. Yeah, right. Wow. I see if there's one thing you can ask from our viewers, what what would you kind of say is how to help grow the channel? I'm a I'm a be honest. This is just this is just me. Real, I feel son? like I feel like we wouldn't even be in a position to ask anything of anybody. Okay. Personally. Okay. Because if you're even watching this to this point, I appreciate it. So just the fact that you exist and that you know that we exist, that's more than enough for me. I, I feel like it would be almost you know, trying to take advantage of even ask something of somebody Okay. when, you know, we still have uh, something to prove, you know, in terms of telling them why they should even be watching. So, and now reg- with, with that being said, I just think, you know, just, just honesty, if you are going to take the time to comment and, and watch, I just hope that they would be honest. And if you really like it, we appreciate it. If not, we would appreciate some constructive criticism. Right. And uh, again, I, I, I kind of feel like even that's asking for too much because, you know, supporter, no platform is anything without their supporters. Right. And so if you're even here, that's more than enough for me, if I'm being honest. Okay. Well, all right. That's not bad. Hey, the one thing we're always going to want is to be real. Right. That's the one thing I want to hear. Y'all want to hear. They want to hear. Right. Be real, son. So if that's how you really feel, then... All right, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. I, li- I like yeah. that. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that. Hey, you got my vote. <laughs> All right, uh, candidate Giovanni. Same question to you, <laughs> sir. Stroketh. <laughs> King Stroketh. He wants to get a tattoo that says Stroketh on his, stroketh. On his oh, lower man. back. God. <laughs> Pause. What T-shirt comes soon. Uh, no. Jeez. Um, I don't know. I, I ain't. <laughs> I ain't asking for nothing, man. I'm just happy to be here. Uh, I don't know why they want me on here, but uh, they gave me a microphone, so here we go. Right. <laughs> we on for a ride now. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah, I'm, uh, gosh, it's going to be a wild-ass ride. I'm already knowing. And uh, last but not least, uh, candidate Jill. Uh, I don't know, man. If I had to ask, like, the people that are going to view this podcast, anything is to stick stick through the growing period, right? Because yeah. this is yeah. a new podcast. You're going to see things. You're going to hear things. It's new. Uh, you're working out different uh, angles and, you know, different talking points and things of that nature, right? Discovering right. who each one of these characters are on the podcast. So stick with us through the growth as this thing grows and you'll get to know everybody. And uh, I'm sure you'll fall in love with it just because I don't even I barely even know these guys. And it's, it's for me, it's all about energy and I can feel their energy. I know Aaron Michael, yeah. but Gio and RC, I don't know all that well. But their energies, they got good spirits, and I can rock with that all day. Mm-hmm. So Fine. just just stick with us through the growth, man. That's all I could ask for. That's good. There hey, man, I appreciate good. you, man. Hey, good man, you know, hey, it's, it's a brother. vibe, man. You know good people when you feel it. Nah, you do. Nah, you do. feel it, bro. No, I be trying to tell people. Nah, you can feel it, bro. Jello, as soon as me and you met, because you were... Hold on, bro. Look me in my eyes when you talk to me. Oh. <laughs> Jello. <laughs> I'll serenade you, bro. Right. Oh. Hey, Jello, when me and you first Damn, met... Jello. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but like for real, though, I think it was maybe been like seven, eight months now. Yeah, Cause, yeah, yeah. Because uh, you were on the radio station out here in Phoenix, on one of the most popular ones, especially yeah. when it comes to hip hop and R and B. Um, and you you left, you know, took your family to, to went to, to Detroit. Michigan. Yeah, went to Detroit, killed yeah. it out there. Yeah. Oh, very successful okay. and everything. I was, you know, I saw you in the, in the snow freezing your ass off. Yeah, you man. Were, you were making waves, and when you came back, all you were just a legend to me. Like I've never ever really met you like that. I've only ever heard good, positive things about you. Meeting you, legend. Thank you, man. No, bro, no facts. Living legend, baby. You are one of the. the so basically, the, I'm the old thing on the podcast. Is what you don't. Yeah. Like, yeah. no, <laughs> 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 That's me being polite and saying, yeah, Jello kind of old. <laughs> I'm the old shit. Hey man, I'm crazy. washed out here, man. But it's oh, all good. Gosh, you're not washed. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, ever since me and you met and we started working together here at the station and stuff like that, bro. Actually, knowing who you are, yeah. the type of person you are, the type of husband and father that you are. Bro, you're such a cool ass person. Thank you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? You're, that, you're so cool. And we this was your this was kind of your baby of us to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and I'm thankful for the fact that like you believe in me and these guys enough because you only know these guys through me. Right. Mm -hmm. And they only know you through me. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's why I wanted to bring everybody together. And we've all just clicked in a short period of time. Bow, so bow, why is it called the Keto like Podcast seat, with Aaron Michael? Because <laughs> uh, I'm because it's mine. Because yeah. it's mine. Yeah. And, 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 I, and I got the best beard. Oh, that that a fact. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called the Cuda Podcast with me. Uh, just because number one, like I said, I kind of quarterback this to bring everybody together. Oh, sure. I'm, I'm just, just uh, yeah, it's yours, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh God, here we go. Guys. <laughs> nah, man. You, you know, look, I just, I just, I just want to be the light. I want to be the beacon, and I want to be, you know, the source of for everybody to kind of get their opinions across. And yeah. to help us all grow, you know. And I'm a I'm a big guy, so, and I have a people. I've been told that I have a big personality. I don't say that. People tell me that. <laughs> One of the greatest you know personalities, bro. Yeah. So you know, if I could kind of be like the the driving force behind us being successful and growing and having fun, I just want to have fun with my squad and with my bros and stuff like that. And whoever else wants to be a part of this mix, you know, then that's all I can ever ask for. So that's why it's called the Cued Up Podcast yeah. with nice. DJ and Michael. Yeah. Yeah. DJ and Michael. Yeah. 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 That's what's up. Yeah, man. So uh, I think we kind of got the point across for, you know, this first little get together. You know, I wanted to introduce everybody. Does anybody have any closing statements before we kind of wrap it up? Oh, that's it? Man, I was just getting started. You know what I'm saying? We just getting heated up. I'm just starting <laughs> well, to sweat. What, talking I mean. about snow in Detroit. Y'all know it's supposed to snow out here? <laughs> Bro, it snowed this morning yeah. in, uh, in Litchfield. Swear. And we got a freeze yeah. warning from midnight to 9 a.m. starting tonight. Mm -hmm. So if you think you're finna be out here in AZ with flip flops and board shorts on, because you know how <laughs> no. we do in the wintertime, man, look here. I yeah. thought it was it's cold. A little cold this Boy. last couple of days. It was cold I know this morning. It was snowing. Yeah, this winter yeah. season for not for people who aren't really too familiar with Phoenix or Arizona, it's usually hot. Right. Like usually for us, it's cold when it's like 65 degrees and stuff like that. You know, right. and right. as soon as it gets a touch under 80, people start wearing Tim boots and fur jackets. Sweaters right. come out, baby. And, and Uggs. We yeah. swim in January, yeah. bro. That's how hot it is. And people from out of state be like, "Dude, it's not even that cold." I'm from you know, I'm from the North Dakota, and they're wearing like some boxing shorts Fact. and a tank top. Yeah. But that was actually cold yeah. like now it's actually like 48 degrees outside you know what I'm saying my toes are turning black it's not it's <laughs> not turning black that's how well, you know you black. from Phoenix I don't know that's something your, else bro I don't your know you be here bro you <laughs> get you to the ER bro I don't need feelings of my ear right? just, just, just carry me out man. yo that's how you know Aaron's from Phoenix though his example for it being really cold was 48 degrees he was like 48 <laughs> degrees out here <laughs> that's cold that's cold yeah. that's yeah. Cold. Yeah. no no it is you're right. versus Michigan, you in Michigan, Michigan is 20 cold. below zero yeah. bro yeah. that's that. what I'm saying there's yeah. people that's listening that. to this that aren't in Phoenix like he said 48 was yeah, like that was your example for cold <laughs> <laughs> you see to work in Michigan bro you don't yeah <laughs> days. You don't hey, days. NAU back in Flagstaff them mm -hmm. days bro six feet of snow I ain't yo coming from LA big city that's right to uh, to straight snow I was like yo What is this This is So snow days are real Okay <laughs> See that's why I okay. couldn't do the east coast Because I'm not gonna be Putting chains on my tires I'm not gonna be Digging mm -mm. snow Out of my driveway And stuff like that People Man. are literally Freezing to death Bro it's not yeah. just Thanks. It's not just snow Like it It freezes Like my truck froze mm. Oh my god Like you know how When something gets wet And it freezes over It looks like icy Yeah, yeah. Icicle froze Like it froze bro You can't even drive The tires are frozen It's oh crazy Oh my goodness mm -hmm. So I'll do this all day. I'll take this Arizona cold all day long. Facts. <laughs> yeah. That part is short. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I, I, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I, that's how you know I am born and raised for Phoenix, man. There's not too many of us out here, okay? A lot of us. You're right. 
Yeah, no, nah, it's right. like eight people left that are actually born and raised in Phoenix. <laughs> you right. Yeah. Was, I'm not born not here, eight. but I was raised here. Huh? Uh, yeah, Chewy's like, yeah, I'm born here. Yeah, Chewy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Mumbles. Oh, says, all right. But these three aren't, though. Yo, all if right? you went to grade school here, you're from Arizona. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear if I you mean, went to if you went from seventh to eighth grade here in Arizona, yeah, you from AZ. Ain't period. it like mm. ten, 10 years and you you know it takes it's ten years five. for you to be only five. It's supposed to be five. Yeah, yeah, shit. I done lived here about six years now, on and off, but yeah, I'm saying shoot. <laughs> you know, if, if you were taught by the Phoenix Union High School District. And you dumb as hell Because <laughs> we all dumb we all yeah. 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 Wait, what, wait, wait, real quick What high school did you go to? I went to Central You went to oh, Central High School Bobcats Wildcats Bobcats Hey, that's wild Yo, Buckeye. we used to We used to Merc Buckeye In Ooh. every sport Ooh. Okay Please Ooh. Okay Y'all was the only school really we beat By the way I don't really remember that I know you were probably Playing sports back in the 70s And stuff like that When y'all didn't have A three-point line Bro, I played football for two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. I, and within that two weeks, I was a center, middle linebacker. Ain't nowhere to put you. Yeah, they ain't nowhere to put me, bro. <laughs> He's an athlete. They ain't nowhere to put me. I was a center. I can't remember the other position that I played. I did it for two weeks and I quit because I met some big booty white girl. They made your own position. They said a three-quarter back. <laughs> big booty white girl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Say what? That's a whole other story, bro. I don't know. Oh, my heaven. Oh, my God. I saw it. And I wanted a piece Look, of man, it. Look, man, we got we to gotta say some stuff. <laughs> what you mean? That's crazy. I saw it and I wanted a piece Get of it. Give people what That's they want. Give them <laughs> Give people what they want. I shouldn't have said that. Let me apologize because if she ever watched this podcast, I don't mean to be talking about you behind. You mm. are a married woman and I'm a married man. I don't mm. want no problems. I this is my daughter's mother, by the way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to end anybody's relationships yeah. on this podcast. I don't want no problems. Right? I don't want, yeah. Do not self incriminate yourself. I don't want to see it. <laughs> oh, God. Dry snitching. Hey. <laughs> 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 no. I'm glad I ain't the wildest one on you. Oh, no. No, I'm joking. No. Ooh, why if he gonna kill me oh, when she sees yeah, this? You ain't stroking for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no stroking. <laughs> Oh, uh, stroke is literally going to be that like we need good. like a light up sign that just says stroke. <laughs> stroke. <laughs> How you spell that? Is that K E T H? Stroke. I like that. Uh, I'll take it. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna play with that. RC, one a bit. bro. What what is your closing <laughs> statement for you know the first? You know, first episode, like, how, like um, if there's anything I'm, I'm just excited, man. I'm excited to bring this new show, this new platform to. the just to the internet and the city and everything. And okay. I'm just super excited, man. I'm ready to get, get it cracking, honestly. Ready to go out? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, you know, yeah, I got yeah. some ideas. Yeah, let's get it cracking. Hey, we, we, we might not make it past episode three for what I want to do. Damn. I'm with it. are. I'm with talking about practice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talking about practice? Uh, and last but not least, uh, my dog, Justin, a.k.a. Giovanni. <laughs> Justin, because <laughs> oh, his, his oh no Instagram name is just created. If people call him Justin, I'm giving y'all the insider jokes here so that way y'all can keep up with me. Lie, well, now you okay? go confused people. Like, is it Justin or Giovanni? I know. All right, I'm, I'm, all right, all right. Is it Strokin? Giovanni <laughs> or Strokin? <laughs> yeah, it might be Sir Strokin. Might be. Yeah, you need to go by Sir Strokin on the podcast, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni, aka Sir Strokin. Oh, oh my gosh, bro. We yeah. gonna see. We gonna see where it turns into. Yeah. Are we not. We not talking about Super Bowl because I was. I'm like. Y'all know I just got off the Super Bowl mural, so I'm definitely trying to talk about yeah, it. Man. I mean, plug Shout it. out my homegirl, you know, she going ham. If you ain't seen the big old Super Bowl mural that's happening off of Washington and I think was Second Street, yeah. you got to go check it out. Go ahead and drive down Washington. You can't miss it. That thing's over 10,000 square feet. That's mm, crazy. massive. Wow. 100 feet in the air, so wow. we yeah. definitely having fun out there. I took off my paint clothes just so I could look kind of cute for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, covered in paint all day, man. It's been dope. Shout out Lucinda, a.k.a. La Morena. is her Instagram. Check her out, man. She's blowing up, boy. And she's she's serving. She's putting up. She's a local, so she's putting up. She's born and raised out here for Phoenix, and she's putting up and representing right. for Phoenix heavy. So it's, it's fire. Go check it out. Right, absolutely. And uh, I think that's just going to be a big vocal point for the next few weeks because the Super Bowl is literally going to be here in right. our city. Right. And right. we're going to have millions of people mm-hmm. here. And not and only for that. Millions. Two million to be exact. Millions. Uh, <laughs> all the shows, concerts, and everything. We're all going to be busy. We're all going to be, you know, networking. So we're all going to have even more stories to tell about that. Ooh. So. You know, if there's anything y'all want to know about, you know, what's going on and where, especially if you're coming from out of town to Phoenix, please hit us up. Yeah, Contact us. Uh, everybody, go ahead and plug yourself. Uh, Gio, go ahead and plug your, your Instagram and how they can find you. 
uh, at just created it on Instagram. That's about the only thing I use. And yeah, hit me up, DM me, text me, whatever. I don't know. My info on there. Okay. All right. RC, if you want to plug? Yeah. Um, I'm Calvert Productions on everything. That's C A L V E R T Productions. Instagram's probably the best place to reach me. And uh, yeah, the link in my bio will pretty much take you to anywhere you need to find me at. Anywhere you need to go. And do you know who Casey Calvert is? Casey Calvert? Mm, I don't. All right, don't worry about it. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> don't, don't worry like, about uh, it. We'll, we'll talk about it later, bro. Later. <laughs> Jello, where can they find you? <laughs> uh, Jello TV. Spell Jello with a G, not a J. I know you want to spell Jello with a J. No disrespect to Bill Cosby, but no oh. Bill Cosby. Okay. Oh. Can I get a bill? Now you see, <laughs> I was the original Jello with the Wait TV. A <laughs> Wait a the box the oh my goodness! Jello man. TV, spell Jello with a G on Instagram, <laughs> on TikTok, and on Twitter. The CEO of Unfun Fact. That's fact. a fact. You know wow. what I'm saying? I didn't call myself that though. They the the followers did. Oh man! Uh, yeah. And then I uh, follow my boy uh, Charlie Mumbles as well. So that's spelled exactly the way: C H A R L I E Mumbles on Instagram. Uh, great content creator, great guy. And also mm-hmm. follow my engineer, uh, Chewy. Uh, his Instagram is Jesus Cross. Am I right? But that's G E E Z U S and then K R U S T. There you go. See, I can see. I know my people. Jesus Christ. I know my people. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I love you, God. But also, follow me. <laughs> it's me. DJ Aaron Michael. <laughs> it's me. A A R O N M I C H A E L. Spell it in the correct way. It's uh, me. Follow me on the gram, man. I, gotta get, I, I have the least amount of followers here, and that's, that hurts my heart. Damn. I got to get them up. I mean, between y'all, let me see. Hey, yo, my mom's, though. Oh. <laughs> yo, my mom's Instagram is popping, bro. What? So. <laughs> what? what? Imagine what if mom had more Instagram followers than you, and then every Thanksgiving to Christmas, she'd bring it up and try to make you look like a small wow. fry. Wow. Oh, sucker. Damn. Damn. She like, like, sucker. She'd be playing me. <laughs> mom right. plays get me. Get followers up. She'd be over there she taking them mashed potatoes off your plate like, man, watch out. Get your followers up. <laughs> she'd be like, you got any new followers? Yeah. I bet you don't. Yeah. She's like, Mama, you know, sucking hot sauce. I got new ones. <laughs> Eating pie with her hand. <laughs> hey man, I will say I just got 10k. Oh, oh yeah. Right. 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 I had to, you know, I had to milestone. step into the promo and like yeah. boost, boost, boost the real. Bro, I be paying. And so I'm like, what do you want me to hey, do? Instagram, I this, give you money. Like, this is trick you gotta do. You gotta get a post that's banging. So like you say you post something It's just hitting off Like say you got 200 real quick You're like right. Whatever one post you get That goes off quick You're like Oh this is this is doing good You can yeah. tell Yeah That's the one you're gonna wanna boost Bro I be getting all nice. bots though Like I get like Sarah 952515J And stuff like that <laughs> And like DM me Let's go on a date Oh uh, yeah All the sex I know, bro. Yeah. Like literally, they all be like in my story. You get freaking, sex bots? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't get sex bots. <laughs> why? Why did it just you married? They know. For go through your IG, find a post that hit, and keep doing that over and over again. Mm. Okay. Just keep trying it. Keep yeah. trying that See, same well, that's, post. That's why I need y'all to help me do that's this. I want. need y'all. Hey, yeah. Yo, spread this out, all right? This is going to be on YouTube. It's going to be on Instagram. We're going to make reels and all that stuff. Yo, spread it to your friends. Get the name out. The Cued Up Podcast, all right? This is the squad right here. Maybe missing one person, but besides that, thank you guys again for checking in with us. Uh, we'll, see you guys, we'll see you guys again next week. Uh, be safe out there. Peace out. Word bomb. Peace out. Word is bomb. <laughs> 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 this is true, right?